m'appelle. Good evening, my name is Said, and I'm here to talk in the name of uh, uh, Coalition K uh, KBC. I would like to thank all our friends, all of comrades that organized this uh, this event. Uh, this is uh, a place where we can share or our daily uh, issues or fight in Brussels we think that we are uh, a hundred thousand um, people um, undocumented people and 60% of people that work um, on scarce um, in scarce professions we have been fighting for a long time now to be uh, to to get our, our documents and we are blocked by a law uh, we are blocked by the law um, 9 bis which uh, limits the actions by economic uh, migrants today's mechanism of course uh, well, we know about it. We know how it works. Uh, we know uh, how it works regarding to uh, the question of immigration. Today, in this uh, a debate that is more uh, important to do um, to the right instead of the, le of the left. And of course, our friends from that organization fight to be recognized, for a cause to be recognized in different uh, um, militant groups and associations to share and create um, a united front that we need today. Our friends, the neutral zone was established after a hunger strike that wa was organized by the organization um, Union of uh, Undocumented People, Union des Sans Papiers. After this hunger strike, another event was created. It was the uh, zone nut, the neutral zone. We reacted um, in regard to a rumor that was. Um, disseminated by the government and the immediate reaction uh, that uh, we organized was occupations we organized an, uh, the occupation of uh, a building in June a building next to the European um, Parliament this was a message for the European Union so that this European Union so that it does what is necessary um, to to answer the uh, to address the issues of undocumented people in Europe. The other question, the question that you all know about, is uh, the question of the KBC uh, building. This building uh, was owned by the bank before, and today it is in the hands of an owner who wants to demolish everything and create uh, settlements, um, uh, flats, and housing for rich people. S we occupied this building to, to uh, bring a question on the table uh, regarding um, um, international economy. Our second objective was to send a message um, so that um, collectivities um, do what is necessary to help the people that are doc undocumented and are struggling, but who uh, do their part for the, uh, the society and the economy. The building that we occupied, as you know, our group, Neutral Zone, uh, we are 400 people. When we started, um, we were, there was 200 people living in the building, inside the building. The 15th of December, we defended 
ourselves um, we resisted just to be able to stay the owner would like us to uh, to go away on the 15th of December and it wasn't the case after two months um, the municipality uh, came with the owner uh, to tell us that we had to 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 clear the building and resisted of course with other organization with other friends and activists we reacted with letters we sent emails to the municipality another um and we came to another um agreement on the 15th of march um maybe until then we would be uh, 200 to 300 per, uh, people the problem is uh, the human being this human being that we evict every time those human beings that live um, in a housing to uh, prove their rights the the um, implication of all um, undocumented people was first to to get to be uh, regulated but then it began it began to be a fight for um, for housing for the right to housing of course we know that the fight for uh, free housing is a fight that um, affects all citizens and us um, in those citizens we always uh, react in Brussels there are many buildings that have been opened by other friends from other groups and then have been that have blocked different kinds of real estate projects uh, projects uh, established by big uh, multinationals so this is what we try to do at the uh, building of the KBC for those of you who follow uh, these events you should know that uh, the municipality is on the side of the owner and for us this uh, municipality is an actor and it should be an actor taking part in the question of the management of individuals who are undocumented in the neighborhood. So first it was to raise awareness in the neighborhood regarding this issue because in this neighborhood we have um, municipal um, demands for example to to get all cars this is something that is um, this about uh, municipalities but when we talk about being regulated this is on the scale of the Federation now we get to organize uh, in groups we manage to organize events uh, gatherings demonstrations and we we are able to manage a daily life where we struggle especially in in uh, the pandemic period and so on the first people that were affected by this crisis were um, indocumented individuals who just opened the fridges and saw that there was nothing left after one week and I'm only talking about Belgium okay solidarity uh, mobilized itself and of course it's the fight who gets results because now we see that rights uh, you have to fight for your rights it just doesn't it isn't granted easily the only people who demonstrated uh, were undocumented and we got results because we reacted we we had to react to the situation a situation where markets are closed where everything is closed and you just you're just left with nothing at all and municipality started to to answer they started to give out uh, food stamps and other uh, 
uh, uh, forms of support from associations and organizations uh, in the neighborhood. They also started to to act and to say that there was a need to act after occupying this building, which were to organize ourselves between undocumented individuals, but not only we are trying to put that our cause, put our, this debate um, in the range of other co causes and other debates. Now we are amongst uh, our friends from all um, European, all other European countries that fight for uh, the right uh, to housing. So what we are asking, well, is that the 31st there will be an eviction and we would really like to have some European support. Because this is going to uh, allow us to reinforce the bond between uh, the action in Brussels uh, carried out by the KBC coalition and the European movement. So I'm really making here a solemn appeal to all our comrades to support us. Please keep in mind that after our last General Assembly of the neutral zone, we'll keep occupying buildings and we'll keep occupying state-owned buildings, government buildings who stay empty and uh, who are not available to us. Thank you very much, Said.